hey guys and welcome back to my channel my name is tamara aka mrs thinker and today we are going to continue to learn more about algebra specifically how operations work when it comes to equations containing unknown variables so buckle up and let's get started hey you over there i see you struggling with the numbers but don't have no fear because i'm Right here, we're gonna go and learn together. There's no need to despair. My cool light breeze, I'm gonna learn it with ease. So leave your content because of time to learn. Okay, so first things first, a few videos back, I explained the difference between like terms and unlike terms, and I mentioned that being able to identify them is key when it comes to solving algebraic equations. If you haven't seen that video, be sure to check it out to get a proper understanding of what like and unlike terms are because we'll definitely need some of that knowledge to help us with the video today. Also, something that I want to touch on is the idea of simplifying algebraic expressions. This means that usually we always try to write our expression in the simplest form possible. That comes from knowing how each operation works in such an expression. Let's begin with like terms. Now I'm going to be using an example I did previously with pineapples and oranges where P represents pineapples and O represents oranges. So let's go. Now with addition, here's our first example. Here we have two like terms that we're adding. Now when adding like terms, we can always simplify using the idea of grouping or multiplication. In a volume 1 video, I spoke about multiplication being the shortcut for addition and it's based on the idea of adding the same group a number of times. So if we had 4 being added 2 times, we could shortcut it by saying 2 times 4 or 4 times 2. Those are actual numbers. Here, we have the same term p being added 2 times and so we write this as 2 times p or p times 2 but I think I also mentioned that usually we always write the known number first and the unknown variable beside it. With algebraic expressions, we tend not to include the multiplication sign. The x as in the multiplication sign looks a lot like x that you would use as an unknown variable. So to avoid confusion, we just totally omit the multiplication sign and instead we would write it as 2p. Now this might not seem like we're doing much simplifying, but consider larger groups like say 5 groups of p being added together or even 12 groups of p being added together. And now you see how this makes life a lot easier. Now, what if we had 2p plus 3p? This means two groups of pineapples being added to three groups of pineapples, which can be added together to give a total of five groups altogether. And then we would further simplify this to 5p. Now on to subtraction. First of all, p minus p is going to be equal to zero because if we subtract any number from itself, the answer is always what? zero but how about different groups like for example 10p minus 4p this works similarly to addition meaning it can always be simplified by subtracting the known numbers if we have 10 groups of pineapples and subtract four groups from it we would be left with six groups so we say 6p the shortcut is this no matter what the terms are as long as they are like terms to add or subtract, simply add or subtract the known numbers and then write the like term to get the final result. Now there is a way to multiply and divide like terms but that's really left for high school so we won't touch on it in this video. So now let's move on to unlike terms and let's bring back our p and our o starting with addition. No, p plus o, these are not like terms. So we can't use multiplication because multiplication is based on the fact that the groups must be alike. In this case, P and O mean two different something. They're not like, so we cannot simplify by using multiplication. So there's actually no way to simplify this expression. This is already in its simplest form. P plus O is equal to P plus O. How about 4P plus 2O? Again, there is no further way to simplify this because P and O are unlike terms. 
Now, I hope you guys are seeing what I'm saying, you know. Subjecting is the exact same. If we have 5O minus 3P, this cannot be simplified any further because they are on like terms. And so we just have to leave it as is. Now let's look at a few examples. Our first example is 3P plus 2O plus 6P minus O. And we want to simplify this expression. So we're seeing some P's and some O's, okay? And to get a better idea of if we can simplify this expression, we know that it has to involve some amount of like terms because the only way we can simplify by adding and subtracting is if the terms are alike. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do something called grouping like terms to each other. What this means is we're going to rearrange the expression so that all the like terms are directly beside each other. So we want to move the 6P so that it's directly beside the 3P. And then we want to move the 2O beside the O because those are like terms. And so we're going to rewrite our expression. Now, if you guys are confused about the plus and the minus sign, whenever we're moving a term, the operation in front of it moves with it as well. So watch me now. We're going to move our 6P to go beside our 3P. So we write the 3P. And when we're moving the 6P, we move the operation in front of it, which is the plus. So it becomes 3P plus 6P. Now we write plus 2O. And then we have minus O. So now we have our like terms, P's, and our other like terms, O's, directly beside each other. And now we can simplify. 3P plus 6P based on our earlier examples would be equal to 9P. And 2O minus O, which is the same as 1O, would equal to 1O or just O. And so now we're left with 9P plus O. We now have an expression with two unlike terms. That means that it cannot be further simplified and so it's in its simplest form possible. Here's a little bit more complicated of an example. 4xy minus 5a plus 9a squared plus 5xy minus 6a squared. And we're going to simplify this expression. Now, like I said, it's a little bit more complicated, but we have to just follow the basic rules. And the first one, like I said before, is that we're going to group our like terms together. So I'm seeing some like terms. I'm seeing xy, I'm seeing a, and I'm seeing a squared. These are all different terms. Remember that they're only like or alike if they look the exact same, right? So let's group all of those like terms together. We're going to start with our 4xy. There's another xy, so we're going to move the plus 5xy directly beside it, right? Okay. Then we have two a squared terms. So my, I'm going to put the plus 9a squared, right? And then I'm going to move the minus 6a squared directly beside it. And then finally, we're going to write our minus 5a term because there's no other a there that we can pair it with. So now we have just rearranged our expression so that all the like terms are directly beside each other. And then we can simplify. So 4xy plus 5xy. We're going to add the known numbers. 4 plus 5 to give 9. Write the term xy and then continue. 9a squared minus 6a squared would be equal to subtracting 9 minus 6. So 3a squared. And finally, we write the minus 5a as is, and that is our expression in its simplest form. Now, all these terms that are left are not like terms. Therefore, we cannot simplify it any further. And there we have it. Now, I know you probably won't be seeing such scary looking terms in our exams. However, I think understanding the basic means that it really doesn't matter what the terms look like. What's the most important is being able to tell whether they are like terms or unlike terms, being able to tell whether we're adding or subtracting, and being able to know how to simplify adding and subtracting like terms. Good? Now let's recap today's lesson. Algebraic expressions should always be written in their simplest form by using the idea of like and unlike terms. 
for like terms when adding or subtracting we can simplify by adding or subtracting the known numbers first and then writing the like term beside it for the final result for unlike terms however they cannot be further simplified through adding or subtracting and that's it for today's lesson remember to like this video if you enjoyed it Comment below if you learned something new and finally, be a friend and tell a friend. Remember, we're all in this together because math is life.